Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors. We're on the Canal River today, chasing fall flatheads. Stick around. All right, folks, so what we got going on today is we got about 0.8 miles an hour current. It's fall, water temperatures like 73 degrees, 72 degrees. Now, yesterday I was on the Ohio, didn't have any current, dragon baits, and just absolutely got my butt handed to me. Marked a lot of fish and thought for sure we'd catch some good ones. Had some fresh bait, but just could not get those fish to eat. So decided to come go closer to a dam um, up on the Canal River, way, way up the Canal River. Got in some more current, marking some fish. We got baits. All we can do is stick it in front of them and see what happens. So I'm going to be using fresh skipjack. Uh, we got a few gizzard shad. That was, it took me. It's you know going on noon now, and it took me all morning, and I got maybe maybe ten shad. So get some baits out there, see if these fish are gonna eat. Now I'm gonna be using different varieties of rigs. Now this is a longer leader. I'm gonna take it, put it out in the middle. Uh, I got an eight ounce sinker. This is a three way, floated up off bottom. There was a couple fish out there that was suspended above that structure. So uh, that's kind of what this is for. And then we got some other baits back there, or rigs that we're gonna put live bait on for those fish that were tucked into that structure pretty heavy. Shad right there. See if he'll take it. Why well, didn't take long at all? About eight minutes. Good live gizzard shad. Took it just like an old flathead. Don't think he's real big, but we'll take him to start with.
go. Hey, he's tagged. Look at that. I'll have to get the tag number to the DNR and let them do what they need to do. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture of that tag and turn him loose. Now one thing I didn't show you on that fish, I wish I would have, that come off of a live bait with a just a regular Carolina, Carolina rig with a sinker slide and a short leader. We're just gonna hook him right through the back and let him flop around. All right, so we only caught the one fish here. Got one other bite other than that. So I'm gonna reel them up. We're gonna move up river just a little bit more. Stay in the current. Seems like uh, farther we came up river, the more current we had. So I would think that the farther we move up current, uh, we'll either keep what we have or get just a little bit more. So that is a good thing in the fall, especially for flatheads. So move up air, anchor back up, see what we can do. All right, just got done on the second spot here and I had a viewer ask me a question on another one of my videos about hey if I don't have a lot of live bait um, you know when you reel it in if it's still alive kind of what do you do do you take it off the hook um, to keep it for the next spot or what do you do so I want to show you guys real quick kind of what I do to save some bait um, in these times like now where I don't have a lot of live bait but they might be wanting live bait. So got a couple live baits out there. I'm gonna reel it in. I'm gonna reel it in kind of slow. Try not to kill it. Try not to rip it off the hook. And then I'll show you what I do with it. This one is still alive. He's got me all tangled up. You want to do this kind of quick. Now he is just barely hooked. He's actually ripped himself loose. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just take him off. Slide him in the bait tank, and uh, hopefully he'll live. Now if if he's still alive. And on the hook good, normally what I will do is just drop the leader line down into the bait tank and then leave the sinker set up on top of it. Now this one here, I actually was able to do that on that last spot and save it. So this one actually got me two spots and if I can get him in and keep him alive, it'll get me three. Okay, so you can see he's still alive. So now what I'm gonna do is just stick, open the tank up, stick him down in the water, set the sinker right there on top of it, and just lay the rod right there. Now we won't be able to go real fast and, you know, up and down, make a big run up and down the river, but that'll keep it alive and we'll be able to use it again on the next spot. All right, so we're set up on our third spot. Hopefully, third one's a charm. We'll see. It's been kind of tough today, but 
pulled him out of that tank and that extreme tank kind of rejuvenates him a little bit i mean he's in a little rough shape got some red fins and stuff but he's still live bait we'll put him out there see what happens Alrighty, folks, there you go. Unfortunately, not every day can be a home run. You're going to have those days where things are harder than others. You're not going to catch as many fish as you did the day before or whatever it may be. It's just going to be a struggle. But that is one of the reasons that I made this video today, to share with you guys that everybody has those struggles. Everybody has those days, and this is reality. These days make the good days that much better. And if you keep your eyes and your ears open, you can learn just as much or more from days like today as you can those good days. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked the information that you got today. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. And until next time, God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water. Thanks for watching.